Have you ever seen a deviled egg charcuterie board? Well, this was a first for me. Our daughter loves to make deviled eggs, but usually serves them on a plate. Well, when mom and dad have a woodworking shop, that just won't do. So for Christmas, we turned a few of our natural edge walnut charcuterie boards into these dual purpose boards. Deviled egg tray on one side and charcuterie board on the other. If you like this idea, be sure to click that follow button. For this board, we used a beautifully figured walnut that was locally sourced and milled by Castle Millworks in Pelham, New Hampshire. We filled the cracks with a tabletop epoxy mixed with a vibrant blue pigment powder. I'll leave a supply list in the description below. Once the board was stable, we put it in the CNC. You can find all kinds of STL files on Etsy to get you going quickly. The initial carving is done with a quarter inch end mill bit. Time to change to an eighth inch taper ball nose bit. This will smooth out the rough carving and leave a finished look and feel. From start to finish, this was about one hour on the CNC. Now, using an inflatable bull sander attachment for the drill, Festive Jeff sands the inside of each egg holder. Time to do a finish sanding on the whole board with a Rotex sander. You can do this in multiple passes, starting with 120 grit and working your way up to 220 grit for a nice polished finish. Since this is intended for food contact, Papa Jeff will be using an all-natural serum and an all-in-one wood conditioner. This will preserve and protect the wood. This is another locally sourced product, also made in Pelham, New Hampshire. Honestly, this is my favorite part, watching the grains and the colors pop. Once the hydrating serum has soaked through the wood, you want to add a wax-based conditioner. Apply this using a rag in circular motion. Finally, go back and buff the wax for an amazing silky look. This is the board we made for our daughter. Hors d'oeuvres before the Christmas meal. 
and the goodies after. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Leave comments and questions below, and subscribe for more videos like this one. We'll see you next time.